Are you kidding me? Oh no, there's more. I can't take it anymore. What the what? People, really? Really? Unbelievable. <laughs> All I could do was laugh. <laughs> stop. Just, no, just stop. I'm done. As some of you know, one of my many gigs here in Los Angeles is that I'm a building manager. And we recently put in low flow toilets. It sounds amazing, right? We're saving water, saving the environment, protecting Mother Earth. Well, in reality, this program is a big steaming pile of what toilets are made to get rid of. When we put those toilets in, I had fun. I had a good time. I went with it. I had old toilets lined up in the hallway. I had old toilets piled up in the garage. There were toilets everywhere. It was freaking hilarious. But the laugh stopped. And I had to put those toilets in use. When you have two teaspoons of water in a toilet, that's great when you need a late night stealthy urination. But when you fire up that internal solid recycling machine after a big meal, you need a splash zone. Let's just call it what it is. Otherwise, all you're doing is piling up logs in a big giant game of Jenga for the tidy bowl man. I don't want to be graphic, but let's just say this. The ecological benefit of low flow toilets goes down the drain in a direct correlation with the increase of fiber in your diet. People are eating healthy in Southern California wondering, why is my water bill so high? Let me tell you, kale's in season. Now, I don't just rant, I have solutions. You want a slow flow, no go toilet? Be my guest, but give me two settings. Give me a number one setting that saves the environment. Give me a number two setting for number two. 